One of the mistakes that we make in the spiritual life is to make comparisons. Sometimes we do it verbally in the same things that we say about other people. Sometimes we do it in our hearts uh, when we make comparisons between ourselves and others. And whether it is a matter of believing that we're somehow better than other people or, or even even if it is that we consider ourselves the worst sinner in the world, um, very often it's a function of pride more than anything else where we tend to forget the facts. You know, we make these extended and rather um, exaggerated comparisons between persons on this earth and forget that the real comparison is between ourselves and our Lord, between ourselves and God. And if we made that comparison more often, we would see that the relative differences between men is very small. You know, even the best of men, uh, as compared to the worst of men, is a relatively small difference compared to God and us. Uh, and uh, in that respect, it means that we're really more, more or less all in, in the same boat. Of course, from a from the point of view of moral judgment, of making judgments about what is right and wrong, about the way we should behave and what we ought to do. Of course, that's a different story. You know, we have to follow what is true and good at, at all times. And again, though, even in that respect, God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the standard. Other men are not the standard by which we judge. God's the standard by which we judge. We have to make judgments about behavior, but at the same time, we remember that we're more or less all in the same boat. And, um, and that's the attitude that our Lord asks us to take in, in today's gospel. Uh, it was by no means a, um, a, a, a prescription on his followers making moral judgments. Uh, to think otherwise would to say something absolutely absurd and inconsistent with everything that our Lord said. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we are to, to basically mind our own business and concentrate on ourselves, which is hard to do. It's, it's so much easier uh, to complain about other people or to uh, make excuses for ourselves and be hard on other people than it is uh, to uh, concentrate oursel on ourselves, be hard on ourselves, and to be lenient or to be forgiving and forgetful about the faults uh, of others. <clears throat> but we remember we have to constantly make the correct comparison, which is between God and ourselves, um, because as St. John tells us in the epistle today, the love of God doesn't consist in the fact that we have loved him, but that he has loved us. And that when we love him in return, we are loving him through his own gift, through his own charity, which he has poured out for us and which he has poured out for all. And there isn't a single person on the planet who has deserved it. Uh, even our blessed mother who was immaculately conceived and who was predestined from all eternity uh, by in God's plan and his love more than all others uh, receives her purity, her immaculateness and her predestination from, from God. It's a pure gift uh, and it makes her the masterpiece of God's creation uh, and she is more unlike us than like us because of this tremendous gift and yet it, it is a gift. And so we have to hold that gift in great esteem, realize it is our, our patrimony, and it's a common patrimony. Uh, what others do with that gift 
is uh, between them and God, and uh, and what we do with it is between us and God, and the only only ones that uh, we really can make any difference with in that respect is ourselves. So we need to take our Lord's advice seriously, and remember that you know, in spite of the fact that we live in a depraved world and and in a, in a world that's gone far from God, and we live at a time in the church where there's a great deal of struggle and a crisis uh, of faith, that the gospel is the gospel. It says what it says. And one of the things that our Lord was hard on uh, was this problem among uh, religious people. This was a problem that he didn't have a lot of if you could put it this way, patience for. At least he wasn't in, as indulgent toward uh, the Pharisees as he was toward um, the, the prostitutes and tax collectors. Uh, and it wasn't the, pro it wasn't the um, prostitutes and the tax collectors he called a brood of vipers and uh, uh, whitewashed sepulchers full of dead men's bones. It was the hypocrites, those who uh, who bound up heavy burdens to lay on men's backs but didn't lift a finger to lift them themselves. So we want to repent of our own sins and examine our own consciences instead of others and do the best that we can to be humble and, uh, and to learn this lesson, which uh, we need to learn over and over again, beginning you know, with myself, we need to take this to heart and ask the Lord as we come before him and his altar to give us this grace. And we ask this also of the Blessed Mother. Oh. 